It is 5.20 a.m., an hour no sane human being should be up at. We got the TV on, got the computer ready, we got the booze, and we're ready to go. Let me, uh, this is the LYT cam, let me introduce you to the friends of mine that are here. Mark, tell, tell us your name and why you're important as a pundit. <laughs> Mark Edward Hoyk, long time, long time film snot. I've been waking up to watch the Oscar nominations since I was a teenager. And you? Melissa Molina, a freelance journalist for a variety of websites. Um, I'm in the same boat as him. No matter like what I've done the night before, I still get stupid early to watch the nominations. And yeah. I played Pathfinder last night, so that was smart on my part, because I got no sleep. <laughs> I only do this when I think there's an audience that will be amused by my antics, and that's highly doubtful in most cases. So I guess we all have a general idea of what what's in the mix. There's her, there's Gravity, there's Lewin Davis, there's 12 Years a Slave, possibly Saving Mr. Banks, probably Osage County. Are there any surprises here? I'm... Um, I'm not the only person who's making this, but I'm going to go out on that limb with other people and say uh, James Franco will get a supporting actor nod for Spring Breakers. Melissa, any, th any outsiders that we wouldn't expect? You um, I just hope that Wolf of Wall Street gets more love. Um, I think it will. I think it will. Yeah, Wolf of Wall Street, and yeah, I hope that her ends up getting some more love. I mean... It was very nice to see it uh, grab screenwriting at the Globes, but then again, uh, the Globes don't really mean much. No, the Globes are uh, nominated by, like, drunk critics, people like that. <laughs> Takes uh, up seriously. I am, so, um, <laughs> in other words, people like me. Um, <laughs> well, I haven't, I haven't mastered the art of sycophancy as uh, the Hollywood foreign press have, so... Mm -hmm. uh, all right, we got to wait a little bit uh, for the nominations to be announced, but uh, you guys watching don't. You're going to jump through time right now. Your name and why you're an important pundit. Go. Uh, important pundit? Yes. Uh, you're an important pundit. My name Go. Is Edwin Improv. My name is Edwin Santos. I'm an important pundit in the, uh, in the industry. I'm not a critic. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a viewer. I'm a moviegoer. Um, I'm an actor. I'm, an any, I'm not in any of those films. But I, I, I support them. He's trying to whisper really hard, but it's not really working because he's not very good at it. Here we go. Oh, this yeah, one's going too. Yeah. Quiet internet, you're taking too long. Because you paused that damn commercial, that's what happened. Yeah. I didn't do that. Your El stupid computer did it. Ellen broke my screen. Oh, sure. Blame it on the gay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the very talented Chris Hemsworth. And he comes out to announce that Thor in the Dark World Thor? sweeps the Oscars. <laughs> Thor's Oscars? <laughs> Let's get right well, Rush, maybe. The 2013 oh, my God. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> and a supporting role on <coughs> Barpad Abdi in Captain Phillips. Th that's the only time he will ever be acknowledged, ever, because it's the one role he's suited for. For his giant pissing scene. Who is going to win? For my prediction. <laughs> what was your prediction? Franco. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Alright. Wow. Blue Jasmine's going to get a best pick, then. Yeah. Uh, she good. Okay, August's gonna get a best pick also. June Squibb is the best. June Squibb is fucking amazing. Yeah, she is. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? And who cares? <laughs> Wait, what the hell is Alone Yet Not Alone? Yeah. When did that come out? I never heard of that movie. You know, the first Despicable Me theme song deserved one. Oh, that'll, yeah. yeah. Fuck it all, <laughs> fuck it all. Blah, blah, blah. The Moon Song. Aw. Oh, oh, it's U2, of course. Uh, U2 singing about Mandela. There's a shocker. 
I thought you two were going to sing about getting drunk and doing drugs, but damn it, they Bono made and... Jesse Helms cry. He gets a pass. All right. Woot. Yeah. Wait, Wait how is that? How is that adapted, though? Because it, it's ad adapted from their improv, I guess. Huh. It's possible. Or are sequels automatically adapted? Yay. Yeah. Doing the oh, yeah. Russell Hustle. Yeah. Craig Borton and Melissa Wallach for Dallas Buyers Club. Some audible Spike fans Jones for that. For nice. And Bob Nelson for Nebraska. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Frozen and the Wind Rises. And Despicable Me Too. Oh, hey. I kind of like the Croods. The scene where Nicolas Cage is trying to pretend to be Ryan Reynolds it would be genius in any other movie. Okay, I've heard good stuff. Yeah. It's alright. It's getting an English dub, so obviously they know it has potential. The wind rises. Yeah, should be a shoe in but given the, like the old people who vote on it, maybe not. Some heat on that one too. The square. Jahan, Nujaim, and Come on, you can do it. <laughs> and twenty feet from Stone. Oh wow. well I hear that's the feel good one. That's like Motown, Motown, Motown. Same sweet spot as inside Lewin Davis. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. The broken circle breakdown. Okay, good for him. People love that Broken Circle breakdown, though, because it's like foreign people talking about how much they love American bluegrass. Well, that's controversial, isn't it, that they said it's from Palestine? Huh. I thought people hated him. Quaron. Yay. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Drink to that. The best performance by an actress in leading role. The nominees are Kate Blanchett. Amy Adams in American Hustle. Kate Blanchett. Yep. Yes. Sandra Bullock. Come on, Adele Exar Coppola. Nice, thank you. In Philomena. And Meryl Streep in August, Osage County. <sighs> Philomena is that outside one that the critics groups don't care about, but like. Academy people love. The nominees are Christian Bale in American Hustle. Okay, For the comb over. Out. For the comb over. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Wolf of Wall Street. First time he's been good in a long time. Yeah. Yes, go Serenity Star. Yes. Ha, Tom Hanks, no soup for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to be mad at Tom Hanks. Oh, I'm not mad at Tom Hanks. Just everybody said he was going to get in. Hey, don't shish. Let's do the wisecracks as much as possible. I just wanted to hear some yeah. of this. Captain Phillips, Scott Rudin, Daniel Brunetti, and Well, they needed to put... So the story's going to be Captain Phillips gets everything except Tom Hanks. <clears throat> I'm not surprised. That one little laugh guy won a bunch of other stuff. It looks like Lewin Davis is getting shut out, though. Yeah. <clears throat> Lewin Davis did get totally shut out. Wow. What happened to that? You know, I have a theory, though, I think. So that's nine? Is that nine or ten? Uh, we'll nine. find out. In, I, I think the Oscar voters are so old 
<laughs> but the Lou and Davis music is still like that whippersnapper shit that the kids listen to. It's nine. What's the what's the max? Ten? Yeah. Yeah. The max is ten, but it's why math a uh, mathematically almost impossible to get ten in the way the votes are tabulated. Yeah. The max is a homeless guy who wears purple spandex and lives in a dumpster. Yeah. I had to throw that in. Okay, I'm gonna cut this for a moment. We're gonna look at the full list of nominations online. Back in a sec. All right, I'm reporting live the rest of the nominees from my computer, getting some reactions. Cinematography. Okay, I should, probably shouldn't be holding this, but uh, The Grand Master, okay. Gravity, yeah. Inside Lou and Davis, There's Davis, Nebraska, and yeah. Prisoners. Prisoners? Yes. Huh. And, and, and let us note that Grand Master gets in for cinematography, but not for foreign film. Well, we haven't done... Did we do foreign film? They yeah. did they foreign did. Okay. film. Yeah. Huh. Okay, costume design, The Grand Master... American Hustle, mm -hmm. The Great Gatsby, mm -hmm. The Invisible Woman, the Invisible. Uh, which is not a Fantastic Four solo movie, and Twelve Years a Slave. It, it's not the story of Icy Spicy Leonsi? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> no, that's The Invisible Girl. <laughs> Documentary short subject I think we can skip, because nobody's heard of any of these. Well, they will when they go to the new art and act, and act like they're going to win their pool. Cave Digger, Facing Fear, Karma Has No Walls, The Lady in Number Six, Music Saved My Life, Prison Terminal, The Last Days of Private Jack Hall. Okay, Film Editing, American Hustle. That has one of the best cuts I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. We all know what I'm talking about. Amy Adams in the stall suddenly cuts yeah. to, My, 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 Delilah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, and d didn't Jeff Lynn write an original song for American Hustle? I I I'm pretty sure there's like one original composition in there that he put in to to qualify for song and nah, he didn't make it anyway the other the editing it's all predictable captain phillips dallas buyers club gravity and 12 years a slave okay makeup and hairstyling dallas buyers club the lone ranger yay and what? jackass presents bad grandpa <laughs> jackass is a shoe in that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> is that the first Oscar nomination for a Jackass film? I believe it is. No, but I, if it is, Paramount should be boasting the hell out of it. Well, well, not to mention, it means that in his own way, Spike Jones is getting nominated twice. <laughs> you know, for the high and the low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, music original score. The Book Thief, Gravity, <coughs> Her, and Philomena. Philomena being Alexandre de Plot, so he'll probably win it. Stephen Price's Gravity could could uh, sneak in there. It is really good, and it's very essential because the whole movie's trying to be, yeah, there's no sound in space, so we got music, and it's subtle and shit. And if Stephen Price won, it would be an indirect win for The World's End as well, which mm. I, you know, obviously had no chance, but I've just been re-watching that damn thing, and it's so fucking solid. It's, <laughs> you know, it... it I mean, it really deserves some recognition, even though, you know, it's not the kind of movie the Academy recognizes. Production design, American Hustle, Gravity, The Great Gatsby, and Her and Twelve Years a Slave. Short film animated, that Mickey Mouse one, Get a Horse, and other stuff you've never heard of. So, Get a Horse. <laughs> yes. Short film, live action, stuff you've never heard of. Sound editing, All is Lost, in which nobody ever talks. Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, and Lone Survivor, which if uh, my colleague Amy Nicholson's situation is any indication, you vote against that and you hate America. <laughs> Sound mixing, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, Inside Lewin Davis, and Lone Survivor. I'd like to see Gravity win both those, those categories. It probably will. Yeah. Uh, the Hobbit's yeah. not going to do it, for sure. Visual effects. This is the nerdiest category, I guess, in terms of what movies get nominated. Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, Iron Man 3, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek Into Darkness. No. Okay. Gone. Obligatory. <laughs> Screenplay we got. And that's a wrap. So, overall thoughts before we drink more? 
Well, um, let's see. It took me a minute to, to think about this, but... So, Emma Thompson, who me included thought was a shoe in for saving Mr. Banks, did not get in. Indeed, nothing. It didn't get anything. It it it, it, it yeah, got it got shut out. Which will make Amy Nicholson very happy because she not only hates America, she hates Disney as well. well so <laughs> politics again. The Oscars is based on politics. And Disney. Meryl Streep did get one, so I think it was an either or situation. Oh, and 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 you remember how Meryl Streep was you know trying to you know b- boost up uh, Emma Thompson and talk about how great she was by totally running down the movie that she was being lauded for yeah. and now all of a sudden she's got the nomination and Emma doesn't. Yep. Wow. Very tactical. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Meryl Streep is also the Oscar queen. Well, or you know, the Academy darling as it were. So, it's kind of no surprise that she ended up getting nominated, but yeah, honestly, I didn't think, you know, yeah, uh, she was gonna pull this one out because uh, for as much heat as August Osage County was supposed to have coming in, just do you honestly know anybody who's been talking about how great August Osage County is? No, no. Exactly. I, I've been talking about Cumberbatch's southern accent in it, but that's about it. I think it was one of those things where August Osage County was released way too late in the race um, for people to talk about it because there were already so many other movies to come out at that point and people are so incredibly in love with American Hustle which I still don't understand so I'm sure that also has a lot to do with it too. They also don't know how to sell it. They're marketing it as a comedy. What, which yeah. one? Osage County. Yeah, that's what? not a comedy. Like it's basically a stage drama with some funny <laughs> moments but they're saying, they're running review quotes saying it's one of the best comedies of the year. Which is almost the equivalent in reverse of those commercials for The Room where they said it burns with the passion of Tennessee Williams. Oh. Well, well, those were the commercials before uh, that man decided to sell his soul to Satan and throw away his integrity and say, Oh, not if as a comedy all along. Mm. Um, I will say this, if... Jackass Bad Grandpa gets the makeup one, which it kind of deserves to because it fooled people in real life as opposed to under perfect lighting. Exactly. Exactly. But you know if it does, they from here on out can say the Academy Award winning Jackass franchise. (laughs) And you know they will milk the hell out of it. I don't know if they're going to do many more movies because, you know, now that they don't have the whole original cast anymore. Well, if they end up with another Oscar, they might do something They might have to. I mean, if if, if that won the Oscar, I mean, you know, Johnny and Steve and Wee Man, they're going to have to get the whole gang together to do another one just on general principle. What, are they going to have a jar of Pontius' ashes? Like, (laughs) what is is, P- is Pontius the one who died? I forget. No, Pontius isn't the one who died. It's uh, someone... Ryan Dunn. Yeah. Well, uh, we're can, such bad can jackass. Someone, can we're someone sorry. verify? I, I can't while I'm holding the camera. No, no, he, you can't. Um, someone in our comments will school us on this. So We don't know which jackass person died right please now. Please forgive us. It's like 5.56 a.m., okay? We barely got any sleep. What do you want us to do? <laughs> well, and actors also kind of a bit surprising because uh, Bale got in and Hanks didn't. Yeah. yeah and you mm-hmm. know, and I already you know made my joke about that, but I you know if anything, I figured Hanks might have had a shot at supporting for 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 Mr. Banks, but he didn't get that either. Wow. And yeah, you know, so. We have we have uh, Chiwetel and Matthew who were who had that locked in. Leonardo got in, which is what a lot of us were hoping for because he had missed out on some of the early critics awards, and so essentially that left one old fart position, and it was going to be is it going to be Bruce or is it going to be Robert? And oh no contest. Bruce has been yeah. campaigning for it. Bruce wants he's been campaigning for it and he's won a lot of the precursors. Mm-hmm. There was no way it was not going to be. Well, well, you just would have thought that, you know, 
Yo, Dernsey versus Redford. Yo, who's been the bigger marquee name? But for once, Dernsey beats him to the finish well, line. Plus, Redford's movie, it's like... I He goes through some hard shit. He gets water thrown in his face. He falls off things. But honestly... Anyone could give that performance if they were being knocked off things and having water thrown in their face constantly, in my opinion. Um, well, I, I, well, I, it, look, I, it didn't make my top 13. I like Gravity way more than All Is Lost, even though, you know, people are trying to say that, you know, All Is Lost is the better pure film because it doesn't saddle, you know, this, you know, all of this dramatic baggage onto the character, but... I do think it is significant that it is Redford because it's basically showing that, you know, the, the, the pretty boy that we have grown up with who has always been able to smooth talk his way out of a situation cannot cheat uh, nature. <laughs> I have to say, um, it's really impressive to at least see Nebraska get as much love as it did. Oh, yeah. oh God. I'm not surprised. Isn't it, isn't Alexa it great? Yeah. Alexander Payne always gets love, though. I think it's not well, that surprising. It, not, well, it is great because I love the movie. Years, but. but, you know, it, it's taken him a while to get that. Um, it, it, it's especially kind of interesting that it's uh, Payne and Russell kind of dominating uh, this batch of of awards and you know look at where they started from in such unlikely circumstance that you know russell comes in with a movie about excessive masturbation and Payne comes in with a comedy about abortion and <laughs> that they that they've and they've both had their you know these down periods and then these you know big you know up periods and i know that i think they've been in each other's corner for for a while which is I, I always like that when you know di you know directors you know have each have each other's back and it's not nearly as cutthroat as you know the press wants to create you know that you know they try to gin up heat and disputes between really good talented creative people and they just say now there's room for both of us all right predictions best picture winner wow 12 years to save uh, I gotta go with 12 years, too. It's either gonna be 12 years or American Hustle, and I don't want it to be American <laughs> Hustle. Please let it be 12 years of slave. I actually think 12 years is a safe bet, too, because I don't ultimately think they're gonna break for sci-fi with Gravity or her. Really don't. Critics groups will, but no. This is the group that clearly thought that Lewin Davis's music was too hip for the room. And That's right! No no, yeah. no nomination for Please Mr. Kennedy. I mean, how, how can, how can you not like... I mean... I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'll well, be honest. Well, wait, wait, let me put it another way. Okay. I can see how you can not like the song. It sounds exactly like the kind of song that I would have had on a KTEL record that I terrorized my parents with when I was a kid. But in a sense, that's why it's such a genius piece of writing, because it's so authentic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what, what the hell? Why didn't any of the songs get any love? Um, well, that's the only original song in the movie. All the others well, are I'm, standards. Well, I, just want, I just want Blue and Davis to get love in general, and all I got was what it got. Well, but, but consider Lewin Davis is a guy who never made it, why shouldn't the movie be any different? Well, thank you, Academy. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, what about you, man? Well, what's the question? Um, just about, like, uh, snubs. Snubs. Wow. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, yeah. it looks like... I mean, what... what um... Well, Joaquin Phoenix uh, is one. That's well... One. Well, you know. He really didn't have a, a chance getting into the act, acting category. He's very he's very good, but you know this was this was a tight field, and you know his his great his great achievement is that considering how many you know wackadoos he's been uh, you know known for playing that he's that in this movie he is such uh, a sweet and hapless 
individual in it. So, you know, it, it's definitely pr proving his range, but against some of these other powerhouse performances that we had this year, it wasn't going to get in. Didn't the movie come in late also? Her? Uh, December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but it screened early enough for all the voting bodies that they would have gotten a good look at it. I actually got the DVD before it came out in theaters. So, go me. Well, Lottie da Neil. <laughs> anyway, we're running long and people are going to turn the video off by now. So I'm going to make it a cut here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know any cool way to end the video. So Peace out.